Blade Runner. Yeah. Right? Well, everybody's worried that we're nearing actual AGI. But even if we're not, even if we're just coming to a point where we're going to have really strong AI companions and they're going to have a ton of data and they're going to persist apart from a human. I mean, next step, like next year, we're going to have, you know, covered in flesh AI robots. What do you mean covered in flesh? I mean, flesh? we're already seeing stuff come out. I mean, bo both from Asia and here where it's... um. You know, it's, it's not just exoskeletons. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've I got soft that. exteriors, yes. right? So it is, it's very Westworld, so to speak, yeah, right? Yeah, agreed. Um, and they're going to be armed not just with these, you know, task-based systems or goals of service. Like, it's so easy to put in a companion that, you know, wants to be your friend or wants to be a doctor, wants to be a therapist, or just wants to be you out in the world. And so, you know, it seems far-fetched. But I tell you, next year, you know, certainly within five years, issues of, you know, liability, agent sovereignty, and like whether or not it's murder is going to be in, yeah. in, in the public eye. Because think about this. If you were to program your dead loved one's memories into, a, you know, a, an agent, be, you know, maybe it's just software, and then you put it into an actual body and you're able to interact with it. Think of the emotional distress that that would cause you if someone were to destroy that thing. Yes, exactly. You know, as soon as there was emotional distress in the USA, you've got a libel suit. 